guys, here with another real time workout recording for you. So this is a 34 minute, no impact, full body strength workout using a chair. So the way this workout is structured is we have our usual five minute warm up, 10 exercises, 30 seconds each, no rest. Then we get into our full body strength workout. So we have 15 different exercises, seven of them are working one side and then we do the other side for another interval. So there's 22 different work intervals for the circuit. We do two sets. We are doing 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off with a bonus one minute recovery between sets. And then at the end of the workout, we went into about nine minute deep stretch cool down. So obviously you will need a chair for this workout. Make sure it is a sturdy chair, like a dining room chair, not an office chair that is on wheels or that will swivel. Needs to make sure that it's nice and stable and steady while you are doing your exercises. Other than that, I recommend a soft surface such as a yoga or exercise mat for comfort as we are on our back on the ground for some of the exercises, although it's not strictly necessary. You'll definitely need a sweat towel and a water bottle though. So grab those, grab your chair and let's get into this 34 minute no impact full body strength workout using a chair. So yeah, jump up and we'll get started with step jacks. Alrighty. So just nice and light on the feet side to side, slight bend in the knee, chest up, hips square to the front. Work those shoulders, gonna be using back and shoulders for some exercises today. Get them nice and loose and limber and obviously those legs nice and light on those feet right, go into our boxes skip so open those hips up a little bit as you bend the knee and some arm swings as well stretch out the chest and back get those shoulders moving Make sure you're opening those hips up, bending those knees. Snap, crackle, pop, got my old woman joints. All right, knee drives right knee, hands crossed, and drive that right knee up. Palms come down to meet it at hip height. Full body crunch, use those abs to pull the arms down and the knee up. Make sure that you're not folded over, but that back is up. So you're lifting that knee with that hip flexor and abs. Nice way. Up, down, windmill, arms and legs wide. Bend down, opposite hand to foot. Come up for middle. Rotate to look at the hand facing the ceiling. Then stand up. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the shoulder blades, back to center. Some rotational movement and activation of the core, torso and back. Stretch the hammies as well. Good work. And knee drives left leg, so hands crossed again. Drive that left knee up. Every rep is a breath, get your breathing under control. Ready for the workout. Drive that knee nice and high, bring those hands down nice and strong. Slight bend in that supporting leg. Nice work. All right, inch one, hands down, walk it out. Drop the hips down, stretch, and walk it back. Keep the legs straight and the hands on the ground so you don't stand up at the end you just walk straight back out stretch those hip flexors and abs when you drop those hips nice work one more all right cross behind heel taps hands by our side lift the leg diagonally backwards engage in the hamstring core tight Hips forward, stretch the hip flexor and quad. A little oblique crunch as we reach down to tap. Nice and light on those feet. Real quick hamstring contraction to lift the leg. All right, squat to oblique reach, squat down, reach up and across the body. 
hips and shoulders stay facing forward. Go up onto the toe, opposite thigh that you lean away. Stretch out the front and side of the hip and abs. Squeeze the glute to thrust that hip forward. Get low on the squat. All right. Open the gate with the arm. So open and down. So arm and opposite leg come up in front. Swing 90 degrees back to center. Just opening up those shoulders and hip joints. Nice big circles. Good work. Strong core, nice, big open of those joints. And froggies, grab onto the front of your shins, straight legs, sit the butt down and up. So you're just stretching those hammies, activating those glutes, keeping the back down, chest down, just straighten and bend those legs. Get the back chain ready to work. Good work. Great work. Get our warm up done. Grab a quick drink. Take off any layers you need. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. 22 exercises. Some of them are right leg and left leg or right side and left side. Two sets, bonus long one minute recovery between sets. So our first exercise, we're going to have our left leg on the ground, right leg is going to be back up on the chair. We've got a close or short stance Bulgarian split squat, so we have the torso leaning forward a little bit and we're going to be working on the quad. So left foot is on the ground, close to the chair, right foot is back. We're going to go down into a squat. That knee is going to come slightly in front of the ankle, but not too far. And we're going to have the chest leaning forward, so we're putting the pressure on the quad. And we're just going to stand. If you find that it's a little bit too easy with no weight, we're just going to do pulses. So you're just going to go up and halfway down. Sorry, all the way down, halfway up. So we'll start with that. Left foot's on the ground. Right foot shoelaces are back on the chair. Keep that torso forward, driving through the middle of the foot and the heel. But you're going to feel this more quad rather than glute. We'll get to the glutes later. So as I said, you can do pulses. If you need to break, stand up fully, lock that leg out, hips forward, then get back down into it. Chest is lent forward, pivoted at the hip. Lovely. All right, swapping legs, right foot down now, left foot back. You can either tuck your toes or place the flap where the shoelaces would be on the, on the uh, chair, whichever is most comfortable. Just make sure you can get deep enough to really target that quad of that front leg. Nice and quick with these ones, we're just body weight. So the intensity comes from the speed, the time under tension. Not fully straightening that leg. Lovely. All right. Take a quick seat on your chair. Put your hands around the front of the chair. Walk the feet out. We go tricep dip. Come up, alternate one leg glute bridge march. Tricep dip, other leg, march. So make sure the elbows go backwards with the dip, not sideways. Then those hips come up. Use the core to lift one of those legs up. Good work. Drive that hip forward with that glute and the knee up with the core. Lock out those triceps at the top of the dip. Lovely. All right. Upper back is going on our chair. Left leg, one leg hip thrust. So right leg is crossed over our left. 
Lower back is on the chair. Upper back, sorry, will be down and thrust up. Down, thrust. So all the weight is going through the left heel. Lift those hips up, squeeze that glute. Feel a bit in the hamstring as well. Get those hips forward. Hold for a second at the top. Lovely. And swapping legs. So right foot down, left leg crosses over. Let's get ready. So down, thrust up and hold. Try and get those hips as high as you can. Squeeze those glutes. You don't have to go all the way down. Obviously you can't get all the way down to the ground, but you just need to disengage the glute so you can then activate it as you hip thrust up again. Good work. Whew. All right, flipping over, we're going to have our feet on the chair. You can put as much as your shins on as you need. We've got an up-down plank. So the more of your leg that's on the chair, the easier it is. You're just going down to your elbows and pushing up. Alternating which hand you're leading with. The chair under the feet just means there's more weight. You've got to lift up and down with those shoulders. Keep that core tight, back flat. Good work. Lovely. All right. Pistol squat to forward lunge. Left leg is working. So left leg stays where it is the whole time. We squat one leg down. Sit. Stand up with one leg, forward lunge on that right, and back. So pistol squat down and up, step forward and back. Left leg stays where it is the whole time. Right leg is elevated in the pistol squat, and then steps forward in the lunge. Slow on the way down and up out of that pistol squat. Drive through the heel. All right, swapping legs. Right leg stays where it is. We go down, pistol squat up, pistol squat. Step forward with the left leg. Forward lunge. Let's go. So slow down, tap, up, step forward. Try at the bottom of the pistol squat to just rebound straight back up. Don't actually sit on the chair. Keep the muscle working the whole time. Nice work. Stability and strength in that one leg here. All right. Plank shoulder taps. Again, feet on the chair. Add your shins if you need as well. We're just holding extended arm plank position and alternating shoulder taps. So core is tight and you're just tapping alternate shoulders. Trying to keep that back flat. So your whole body is in one straight line. Core is tight. Hands are splayed for balance under your shoulder. Alternate tapping each side. Great work. Get those hips nice and high. All right. Long stride, far Bulgarian split squat. So focusing on the glute. Left leg out forward first. This is a long stride. So where hips are going back and down here. Chest is up. So that knee stays above the ankle this time. And chest is up. Driving through the heel. You're going to feel this in your glute and hamstring rather than the quad. Again, pulse if you're feeling good. If not, you can stand all the way up, relax the muscle, then come down again. Just keep that knee above the ankle. Drive through the heel. 
Ooh. Swap legs, right leg out front, left leg back. Shoelaces or toes on the chair, whichever's most comfortable. Keep the chest up. Go as low as you can. Come up halfway or all the way. Keep that speed of the reps nice and high. Drive through that heel. Squeeze the booty. Great work. Oh. All right, incline push-ups. Hands are gonna wrap around the side of your chair. We're just pushing up, down. Chest to the chair and then push up. Back is straight. So you're down, push up. You're not bent at your hips. Your whole body moves in one plane. Lock those triceps out at the top. Core tight. Chest to chair, then push it away. All right, onto our back. Left heel on the chair. One leg raised glute bridge. Right leg is in the air. Left leg's working. You dig in the heel, raise the hip, and down. So you feel this in hamstring. Use your core to keep those hips level. Drive up and down. Drive that heel down. Squeeze that hamstring. Thrust those hips up. Oh. Lovely, and swap legs. Right heel on the chair, left leg straight up. You can give it a nice stretch if you need. Good work. Getting ready to go with that right leg. So up, down. Just tap down at the bottom, then shoot back up. Raising the heels really targets those hamstrings. Good work. Keep those hips nice and square to the ceiling. Core tight. Woo. All right, coming to sit on the very edge of our chair. We've got in out sit ups or crunches, leg extensions. So you're just on the very edge of your chair, leaning back as far as you can. Legs are out and in. So you want as much of your kind of hip off the edge of the chair. So you're working lower abs and quads. Drive those knees into your chest and then extend fully. Great work. Oh. All right. Bent leg abduction hold with the top leg. Bottom leg is raising and lowering. So left knee and shin are up on the chair. Elbow down. We're holding. That right leg is lightly going up and down. So you should be in one line. From your left shoulder at the top, to your left knee on the chest, squeezing that in the thigh to keep those hips up. That bottom right leg is raising and lowering. Lower obliques are working as well, but you're feeling mostly that top adductor. Oh. Woo. And swap over, left leg down, right leg up on the chair, Shin and knee. Hips up. Hold. And then raise and lower that bottom leg. If it's too much, just let the bottom leg hang. And just squeeze that inner thigh to 
to keep those hips up at the top. Good work. Feel that burn on that adductor. It's what we want. All right, sitting on, lying on our back, both legs on the chair. Hands are together. We sit up, touch the outside the left, back up to the middle, back, sit up, touch the right, back to the middle, up to the left. So you're just going left, middle, right, middle. So crunch all the way up, slight twist on the sides, up and over. Good work. Nice tight core. Oh. All right. Left leg pistol squat. The chair is just there, has a balance. Left leg stays where it is. Right leg is off the ground the whole time. It's out straight and come down. Tap, stand up. Down slowly, just tap, shoot straight back up. So sit slow, explosive, quick stand up, driving through that heel. If you need to grab onto the right foot, you can. If your quad's tired, or you can wrap a towel around your foot as well. You're just making sure you're counterbalancing that movement. Woo! All right, swap legs, right leg now, pistol squat, left leg, just staying out of the way. Let's go. So down, slow, tap the butt, shoot up. Trying to lose that balance. Down slowly, tap the butt, rock it back up as quick as you can. Quad, glute and hammy, all working here as well as core. And the quad in that front leg as well. One more, let's go. Oh. All right, feet on our chair. We've got a rolling plank, side to side, middle position, extended arm plank. So we're here, open to one side, back to centre. Open to the other. Back to centre. Feet stay where they are on the chair. You just roll the hip as you open up the shoulder. Keep those hips in line with your shoulder in the chair. Nice straight line. Good work. Alrighty, last exercise. Flip over, backs of our heels on the chair, legs are straight, arms are by our side. We just got reverse plank, so we thrust up and down, up and down. So you're getting the hips to shoulder and chair height, holding and lowering. So core, hamstrings, back, shoulders, Everything's working here. You get to a full flat surface at the top, slowly lower, tap down, come back up. Oh. Lovely. All right. Whew, halfway through. Workout, first set done. Minute rest, great work. Ignore this buzzer. Walk around, shake those legs out, towel off, grab a drink. We're gonna go through that whole thing one more time. Whew. Sweaty, great work. As I said, you can get a lot of good work with body weight, just changing the angles that you're using the muscles up by using that chair. Alrighty, so 20 seconds and we start back at the top with 
that close stance, Bulgarian split squat, left leg out forward. So that one we're leaning forward, targeting the quad. So let's get set up, we'll go ready in five seconds. So left leg is forward, right leg is back, let's go. So down and up nice and quick. You're leaning forward, digging the whole foot in, not just the heel. Target that quad. Go all the way up and down, or just come half up. Good work. I know it's burning, push through for five seconds. Oh, swapping feet. Right leg out front working, left leg back. Five seconds, put that leg up. Let's go. Nice and quick, up and down. Keep that chest length forward. So you've got extra weight over that quad. Great work. Make sure that knee is still going in line with that second toe, especially because it's going forward further than we usually like. Ooh, all right, tricep dip to one leg, glute bridge or hip thrust march and swap. So fingers wrapped around the front of your chair, heels out, let's go back skins, then you drive the knee up. Make sure that you're not going forward with the hips on the dip. Your back is just skimming the front of the chair. Elbows are going backwards. And you lock that core out, hips up. Drive the knee. All right. One leg hip thrusts with our upper back on the chair. Right leg crossed over the left. to begin with. So down and up. Keep those hips facing the ceiling, core tight. Don't let them drop and rotate to that crossed over side. Drive through the heel, squeeze the glutes, Get those hips up, swapping legs. So right leg is working now, left leg is crossed over. Let's go. So down, thrust up. You want to get those hips level with your chest and knee. Squeeze that glute by driving that heel. Engage the core. Feel hammy as well, that's fine. Alright, up down plank, feet and or shins on the chair. Tight core, drop into your elbows. Lock those legs out by engaging the quads. Hips are square. Back, booty, and legs all in one straight line by squeezing those abs. Don't let your butt arch up or drop down. Good work, five seconds. I'll take which arm you lead with. All right, pistol squat to forward lunge, left leg working so it stays where it is. You pistol squat back, forward lunge, right leg. So left leg where it is, pistol squat, tap, stand up, forward lunge, right leg. Again with that pistol squat, 
Don't actually sit down, just tap, then come back up and stride forward. So we can keep our balance, that is. Alrighty, swapping legs. Right leg stays on the ground, does a pistol squat. Left leg lunges forward. Absolutely dripping sweat. All right, so down, up, forward lunge. We're just getting different planes of motion. Stability through the whole body. Core tight, keeping those hips nice and square, even when there's only one foot on the ground. Chest up the whole time. Plank shoulder taps, feet and or legs on the chair. Core tight, hips level with your back and legs. Just tap, alternate shoulder. Good work. Lay the hand to help with your balance. Wrist directly under your shoulder. Core tight. Keep those hips steady. Legs locked out. Glutes and quads tight. Lovely. All right, far Bulgarian split squat. Left leg in front. So it's a long stride, chest is upright, hips go back, working on the glutes. So up and down. That knee stays above the ankle. You're driving through the heel, squeezing the glute and the hammy. You need a really long stride in with this one. So there's room for that back knee to dip. Good work. Hit the chest up. Woo. Swap legs. Right leg forward and down. Left leg back. Let's get up and ready. Chest up, hips go back. You can do full range of motion or pulses depending on how you're feeling. Good work. All the weight is going through that front leg. Squeeze the booty. Alright, incline push ups. Grabbing onto the side of your chair, legs straight, core tight, chest drops down, then you push the chair away from you, tight core. Every rep is a breath, we're officially halfway through the second set as well. Keep that core tight. Protect your lower back. Lock those triceps out at the top. Coming down onto our back. Raised heels, one leg glute bridge. Left leg working first. Right leg up in the air. The left leg is down. Heel down. Drive up. And down. Squeeze the hammy. Squeeze the glutes. Core tight, keeping those hips square to the ceiling. Get as high as you can. Really squeeze that glute by driving that heel. Feel that hammy as well. Oh. Left swap over. Stretch out that hammy if you need. All right, right leg 
in five. Let's go. Again, spend most of your time on the way up and down. Only a little bit of time tapping at the bottom. Muscle is working for as long as we can make it. Drive those hips up. Squeeze that hemi. Ooh. All right, sitting on the front of our chair, in out crunches, work on those lower abs and quads. Oh, hamstrings. So as much of your booty off the chair as possible. Bring those legs in and out. So your leg back to counterbalance that weight. And you bring the knees up to your chest. Core tight. Extend those legs. Bring them up. Alright. Bent leg, leg, adductor clamshell hold. Left leg is up. Right elbow's down. Right leg is raising and lowering. So raise those hips up, squeeze, raise and lower that bottom leg. Those bottom right obliques are working to keep the hips up. Top web adductor groin is working to keep those hips up. Those top obliques are working as well. And the glutes and the shoulder. Good full body exercise. Keep those hips up. All right, flip it over to the other side. Right leg is on the chair, holding those hips up. Left leg raising and lowering. Let's go. So you should have one long line across the top of your body, from right shoulder to hip to knee. That bottom leg is raising and lowering, staying off the ground if you can. Good work. Feel that burn on that inner thigh. Flip over onto your back. Sit up with your legs on the chair. To the right, the middle and the left. Sit up, across, up, middle, up, other side. So full sit up, so you're getting your chest all the way up. Lower back comes off the ground. Reach those hands over. Good work. Pull your whole torso up to those knees. Pistol squat, left leg. So just tap your butt down and then shoot back up again. Right leg stays out front. So down, tap, up. So I said if you need, you can grab onto that right foot or wrap your towel around it. Try not to sit on the chair, just tap, then come back up. Slow on the way down, quick explosive, push up. Ooh, swap legs, oh, hip flexors. Go back. Right leg, fist of squats, let's go. So tap, shoot up. Slow on the way down, control, tap. Every rep is a breath. Drive that heel into the ground. Shoot those hips forward. One more. 
Alright, second last exercise, rolling plank, feet on the chair, so you extend it on plank and you open up to each side. You can put your shins on the chair as well if you need. Roll over, hold, back down, swap. Extra weight on the arm and going through the hips to keep them square. Extra work on the core, but we can do it. Nearly there, five seconds. Fight for it. Lovely. Flip on over, last exercise. Reverse plank. So your heels are down, legs are straight. You're thrusting those hips up to make one long line with your body. So up and down. So hamstrings, core, back, chest and shoulders, bit of glutes, full body. 15 seconds, let's finish strong. Lock those legs out. Let's hold for the last 10 seconds at the top. Five. Woo. Drop the butt, bend those legs, and we are done. Great work. Woo. Alrighty. Let's grab a sweaty selfie. Then we're going to the stretch. Alright, lovely. Grab a quick drink, towel off, walk around. Take some deep breaths. Great work. Alrighty. Keep moving around. Twelve calories. Pretty good. All right, let's get into a bit of a cool down stretch. I don't know about you, but my hip flexors are particularly tight, so we're going to start with those and the hammies. So let's come down to the end of our mat, feet hip width apart, legs straight, and we're just going to fold over forward, keeping the back straight to begin with. Go as low as you can where you're keeping that back straight, pushing those hips back. Feel that stretch along the hammies, bit of the glutes. And just hold. <sighs> Lovely work. Push those hips back. All right, now you can round your back, drop that torso and just let it hang. Still pushing those hips back. Straight legs. Great work. All right, walk those hands out forward until you're down. Dog position, heels just coming off the ground. Then hips up and back, drop the head between the shoulders and just pedal those feet one at a time, driving all the way to the stretch through the one leg. Get those calves. Good work. All right, both feet down, hips up and down, up, then down, forward, chest up, in our up dog position. Don't let the hips touch the ground yet, but push them down and arch the shoulders back. Stretch the abs and hip flexors. All right, now you can drop those knees and untuck those feet. And then drop the hips further, push the ground away from you. Look over your left shoulder towards your left heel, 
pushing that right hip down further, stretching out the obliques as well. And back to center. And look over your right shoulder towards your right heel, pushing the left hip down, stretching the hip flexor and obliques. Back to center. Take your hips up and back into child's pose. Walk the hands out a little bit further and drop the chest down between those shoulders. Open them up. Hips back on your butt, on your heels. Stretch out that lower back. Good work. All right, come up to all fours. Take your left foot, bring it up next to your left hand and then push the hips forward. Stretch that right hip flexor and the front of those abs. Nice work. Take the left hand now, reach for the ceiling to open the chest up, drop that hip. Drive towards the ground. And then bring that right hand, left hand, sorry, down onto the left knee. Join the right hand on the left knee and pull yourself across over that left side, really driving that right hip down and twisting away from it, feel that nice deep stretch along the front and side of that right body. Lovely work. All right, hands back down in center, tuck the right foot, straighten the leg, straighten the left leg, hips up and back, drop the torso down, keep both legs straight, Lovely work. All right, now walk those hands round to the right side to centre. Straighten both those feet out. And then grab onto the back of your left foot and pull yourself down and across. Keep the legs straight. Pull yourself across, really open up the back on that right side. All right, let go and walk your hands over to the right side now. Grab onto the back of the right heel and pull your torso down and across. Open up the back of the left shoulder and lower back. All right, drop the hands down. Now turn the feet towards that right side. And then drop that left knee. So you're now in that low lunge with that right leg up outside the right hand, driving that left hip down towards the ground. Great work. Take that right hand now up and open up towards the ceiling. Rotate the chest, drop the hip even further. Good work. Bring that right hand down onto the knee. Take the left hand up to join it and pull yourself across. Twist to that right side now. Dropping that left hip and twisting yourself away from it. Lovely work. All right, hands back to center. Tuck the left foot, straighten the leg. Raise the hips up, straighten that right leg, and then fold forward over that leg. All right, walk the hands back to the left side to center and pivot the feet so they're facing forward again. And then we're just gonna drop onto the left side by dropping, bending the left leg, drop the hips, open up, 
that right groin adductor muscle. Keep the hands on the ground to take the weight. Help you with your balance. Just sink all the weight down into those hips. Stretch out that inner thigh. And back up to center. Straighten the left leg. Now drop the right side. Bend that right leg. Drop those hips down. Stretch out that left adductor, inner thigh, groin muscle. Lovely. All right, straighten that leg, hands back to center. Heel toe those feet in until they're in sort of sumo position or sumo whip. Elbows rest on your knees. Then we're going to bring the chest up, sink the hips back, go into a nice deep squat, opening those knees by pushing those elbows back, slight rocking side to side to open those hips up. Just a very small sideways movement, don't need much. Alrighty, put those hands back down on the ground, straighten those legs, heel toe until they're under our hips, and then slowly, one vertebra at a time, we're going to stand up, and we are done. Alright guys, great work on completing this 34 minute no impact full body strength workout using a chair and deep stretch cool down. If you follow along at home, I'd love to hear your feedback. It is always appreciated. And as always, keep your eyes on the page for more workouts from me over the coming weeks. Catch you guys.